Let's go ahead and find out if this Venus flytrap was able to digest this crab. This is exactly two weeks later after the crab was caught by the Venus flytrap. After this crab was caught, the plant went to my outdoor pool sun portion of my garden. I was highly surprised that no insects or other animals tried to snatch this trap. Another surprise was that no digestive enzymes leaked even though this didn't get a clean seal. Nor did the trap start to die from the extremely large meal. Overall, the trap was still extremely pristine. After bringing the plant inside, I decided to use some sterilized scissors to cut the trap off. This makes it much easier to deal with the trap when trying to cut it open to see the contents. Next, I'm going to try to make a cut perfectly across the back of the trap to try to release the tension. This way, as I'm trying to pull the two leaves apart, the spring tension isn't constantly trying to reclose the trap. Now that that's done, we can see what two weeks of digestion has done to the crab. As I first opened up the leaves of the Venus flytrap, I was a little confused as it looked like the flytrap had not digested much of the crab. And then I quickly noticed that there was no soft tissue inside of the shell of the crab. To further inspect, I took one of the small claws of the crab and decided to crunch it up. It was at this point that I realized the Venus flytrap had successfully dissolved all the soft tissue with the digestive enzymes. The flytrap had dissolved just about every portion of the soft material and left nothing but the exoskeleton.